The Trimble License Manager is the new model for assigning and managing licenses for subscription-based software such as SiteVision, Catalyst, Teraflex, PenMap for Android. In this video, we will show you how to add users to your account individually or through a batch import process and activate the subscription and then assign the newly added user to each subscription either individually or through a batch process. Currently, there will only be one admin for your license manager and you will need to specify the email that should be assigned to when purchasing your subscriptions. Each time you purchase a new subscription, it will be applied to the same account. So here we're going to go out and we're going to open a web browser and go to the website for Trimble License Manager. We'll go ahead and enter our credentials and click Sign In. Once logged in to the License Manager, you'll see over on the left, there's the choices for licenses, users, usage, and report an issue. The first thing we're going to want to do is add our users, so we're going to click on the User tab and it'll take us to what users we already have added. So if we want to add a new user individually, we're going to click the Create User button, and then we can enter in their email and first and last name. Once we have that entered, you'll see the Create User button becomes interactive, and you can click on it to create the user and add them to their account. If you want to do it through a batch process, you're going to click the Import User button. This will allow you to import users through a CSV file. You will need to have the CSV file formatted correctly, so you'll have three columns. The first will be first name, second will be last name, and then the third will be the email. From here, you can click the Add button to browse out to the CSV file, and then you can um, open it to import all the users automatically. If you want to edit information for each individual user, you can click on the pencil icon for that user. You'll see that the email cannot be changed out, but you can edit their first and last name if there's a spelling error, and then click the Update button to change those updates. Now that we have the users assigned, we can go back to our licenses. The first step to managing the licenses for your subscription is to activate the license. The license must be active before you can assign a user out to it. The activation will also start the counter for when that subscription will expire. So we're going to browse down until we can find our new license and you'll see the blue activate button next to it. If I go ahead and click that activate button, it's going to pop up a message saying um, that if you've bought multiple subscriptions in one bundle, it's going to activate them all at once. So you'll go ahead and click the activate button. And now the license is ready to assign to a user. If I want to see the terms on the license, I can scroll back up to the top and next to the header for the license subscription, you can see terms and you can click on it and it'll give you your details. So if we want to assign out one of these users to the license, just click the drop down next to the license that we want to assign it to and select the email we desire. And then you can click assign to assign that user to that subscription. The other option is to click the add user icon and we can add a user individually like we did on the user pane if they haven't been added to our account already. If we want to do a batch of users all at once, we can click the assign users button. We'll select the license that we want to assign them to. And then it's going to bring up our list of users and we can select from the list which users we want to apply to the license. The Catalyst On Demand hourly bundles can be shared with your organization by the email domain. So there's a setting to just turn that on. If you have a Gmail or a generic um, email domain, then you will still have to assign out the individual users like we did in the previous step. The other setting is the notification to have it send you an email when you are about to run out of hours. And you can specify the number of hours remaining. Anytime you assign a license to a user, we'll get an email saying that they have been assigned a license and it's going to give them info on how to access it. You can revoke a user from any time off of a license. To do that, you'll just click the black X in front of the user's name and then click remove. And then this removes the user from that license so it's available to assign to somebody else. Anytime you revoke a user from an, a license, they're going to get an email saying that they no longer have access to it.